Jean Leon Jerome Ferris was an American painter born on August 18, 1863 in Philadelphia, United States. He passed away on March 18, 1930. Jean Leon Jerome Ferris was a painter who was known for being a part of the Romanticism art movement and working in the genre of history painting. As an artist, he was heavily influenced by the works of Jean Leon Jerome. Ferris is best known for his series of 78 paintings depicting scenes from American history, titled The Pageant of a Nation. The series still remains the largest collection of American historical paintings ever created by a single artist. Ferris was not only an artist, but also a friend and mentor to many in his painting school. His work continues to inspire and influence painters across the United States today. Jean Leon Jerome Ferris was a historical painter known for his idealized portrayals of famous moments from American history. Growing up around art, Ferris was trained by his father, Stephen James Ferris, and his uncles Edward Moran and Thomas Moran, both acclaimed painters. He studied at the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts and the Academy Julian under William Adolphe Bouguereau, as well as meeting Jean Leon Jerome, who influenced his decision to paint scenes from American history. Ferris gained a reputation as a historical painter by 1895, and he embarked on his dream of creating a series of paintings that told a historical narrative. In 1898, he sold General Howe's Levy, 1777, but he later realized that such a series could not be complete if the separate paintings could not be kept together. This had the effect of greatly popularizing his work, as various publishing companies made prints, postcards, calendars, and blank back trade cards to use in advertisements, still being sold as late as 1984. Ferris died in Philadelphia in 1930. Ferris married Annette Amelia Ryder in 1894, and the couple had a daughter named Elizabeth Mary. The complete series of his paintings was shown at Independence Hall in Philadelphia from 1913 to 1930, then moved next door to Congress Hall. In later years, it was shown in a number of locations, including the Smithsonian Institution, before being returned to the Ferris family. His works were widely popular for many years, but modern critics are far less generous in their praise. The American Philosophical Society claims that his historical paintings confuse verity with verisimilitude, and art historian Gerald Ackerman describes them as extremely dry in execution and rather monotonous in composition. Despite criticism, Ferris's works continue to be celebrated as depictions of America's history and ideals. Jean Leon Jerome Ferris dedicated himself to his passion for painting scenes from American history. His works were idealized portrayals of famous moments, including George Washington's inauguration at Philadelphia, Franklin's return to Philadelphia, 1785, and writing the Declaration of Independence, 1776. The American Philosophical Society claims that his historical paintings confuse verity with verisimilitude, but his paintings are splendid in the accuracy of accessories and clothing. He may be one of the artists whose paintings fully embody the American spirit. To this day, his paintings continue to be widely circulated and celebrated. In conclusion, Jean Leon Jerome Ferris was an American historical painter whose idealized portrayals of famous moments from American history have left a lasting impact on the art world. Despite criticism for his dry execution and monotonous compositions, Ferris's works continue to be celebrated for their accuracy and attention to detail. Ferris's dedication to his craft and passion for painting scenes from American history have made him one of the most influential artists of his time, inspiring painters across the United States. His series of 78 paintings, titled The Pageant of a Nation, remains the largest collection of American historical paintings ever created by a single artist. Ferris's legacy as a painter embodies the American spirit, depicting moments that define the nation's history and ideals.